G'day, thanks for clicking the link. In a second, you're about to see a news story that was actually part of a longer news show from Monday. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Think about joining me over here on Patreon. Otherwise, enjoy. And first up, Yamaha has unveiled its 350 kilowatt motor. This interior permanent magnet synchronous motor is the industry's highest class in output density and operates on 800 volts. I covered this motor previously, but now this is actually market reality. And well, it's a game changer. Why? Because its compact construction means that it can be installed into its small spaces. It also treats the mechanical and electrical components as a single entity. That means that they integrate both the gears and inverter into one unit. And in truly ex exciting bit is that Yamaha have designed this unit to either be used as a single motor or multiples. Imagine. Hey Jimmy. Yeah Bob. You know what's better than two? Four. Four. Yeah. 350 kilowatts times by four, like multiplied by four. That's, oh, hang on, bit of math. That is a cool 1400 kilowatts. Hypercar territory indeed. For instance, the new Tesla Model S, the 2022 model, shall we say, the plaid version, that's got 1020 horsepower or 750 kilowatts of power from three motors. Imagine what Tesla could do if they install four of these bad puppies. That would be like 1,877 horses. Man, that thing will go. On Friday last week, Tesla community exploded because of Tesla Model 3 price drops. Using Victorian prices, the Standard Range Plus is now $68,094. And that's about a $4,000 drop. And this is drop away prices, guys. And that's, well, already significant because it's gone beneath that $70,000 barrier and it's actually cheaper, I think. It's, I think it definitely is than the um, Hyundai Kona Highlander. So, mm, man, it's going to be a bit of a hard decision for some people right now. Additionally, the Long Range has had a big price drop by about, well, $5,000 to $84,298. Um, that's Great, very good, good job Tesla. And then the huge one here is the performance one, and that's $100,554. Uh, again, about another four to six or seven thousand. I'm not sure. I think it's I think about six or seven thousand dollars. I think it was. You can correct me, I know you will. Um, so this is great, and yeah. I can get some people who do like this right now and they're seeing red and they're angry like, ah, oh, I just got my Model 3 and yeah, I get that. But, you know, this is Tesla. They do this. If the Australian to the American dollar goes up and down, they follow it. They're not always very timely with it. And there's been a lot of uh, people asking airline of late, hey, airline, when's our price correction coming? And um, we saw in Japan how they actually got a price drop over there and well, sales boom, didn't they? And well, this is going to do the same for Tesla in Australia as well. And hey, if you actually do have a deposit down right now, you put your order in and you're due for yours to arrive in you know, June, um, August, September, whatever the next quarter is, that's how Tesla works by the way, um, Tesla will actually honor uh, this brand new price. So don't worry, you, you're going to save a little bit of coin and it's going to be reflected in your final payout figure. Uh, so, hey, good job, Tesla. Thanks for doing this. Every Aussie is very happy right now. And finally, a quick update on full self-driving for Australia. And uh, no, again, Australia is no closer to getting beta FSD anytime soon. But my American friends, listen up. Elon tweeted on April 15 that major improvements are being made to the vision stack every week. Beta button hopefully next month. This is a march of nines, trying to get probability of no injury about 99.9999% of miles for city driving. Production autopilot is already above that for highway driving. Now, this is exciting and as it means that several video cameras, some serious CPU power and some very clever software is near 
level four autonomy, kind of. It's not actually true level four because you still actually have to have your hands on the folk and be paying attention and you're responsible for the car. But if we could take that, that away, that is seriously impressive. For those who are a little bit unsure about what I'm talking about here in terms of uh, this feature rolling out further, Elon did say a while back that they would actually extend the beta program that's currently in testing in America and available to one to 2,000 very lucky Americans. Um, he's actually said that, hey, we're going to add like a beta button, like give me beta button. Uh, in the very near future. But look, there's always some caveats here. And look, whilst Elon is more confident that adding that elusive request FSD button is going to be happening soon, we need to remember that in early March, he said this, probably two or three weeks. Then in mid-March, he said this, significant release will be in April. So again, I'm excited and I too want to see this on our roads as soon as possible. But remember folks, one, at the moment, this is for our American colleagues only. And two, this is Elon time. So actual rollout might be a few months for my American friends. And again, I'm still going with early 2022 for Australia. Okay, that gets us to the end of another episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and will thank you for watching. If you haven't already, think about subscribing, leave us a little comment, think about joining over here on Patreon, and otherwise, you be good and you be green. Born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's complex If I'm loving its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people, this is city I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every break I wanna thank every end